Yo, 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 what it do, y'all? This your boy, Big Nutter. Welcome to Nutterville, where we kick it, chill, and be a whole fat. Yeah, this gonna be an upload today, y'all, because I would usually go live, but I ain't really got time today. And when I go live, I usually go over the time that I usually plan on going, so... We just go do an upload today, you know what I mean? But your boy will be live tomorrow, y'all. Your boy will be back live tomorrow. So tomorrow we're going to be talking about the three freaks in the pool and the wild squatter. So we're going to be reacting to that tomorrow on that content. But today we got Charleston White content, Charleston Home. From that little shit he got locked up for, but what about a dog and some other shit? And we also reacted to Earl Camina and Safar. So let's get to it. Let's get to the content, y'all. Let's do. Let's hear some. Let's, let's watch my nigga. Love bro YP real quick, then we go get to the content. Let's go. Profile on the beat, so we get it made. YP. Uh. You ain't no hustle, nigga, what you selling? I'm in the trenches, nigga, serving killer. I'm in the trap, nigga, scraping extra. I'm in the Tesla, nigga, smoking pressure. Get the bags in and you know it came fresher. Kicking work, little nigga like tacking. Send his ass up like a 10 gram session. Ain't ducking no beef, little nigga, we step. Ain't ducking no smoke, nigga, we in hell. I just serve teachers, preachers, reverence. Steady pushing gas, little nigga, like a pedal. Popping up a perk, pour a line to the yellow. How does your brother but that nigga tell I see my victim, nigga, I'ma catch him. 31 shots at it out of Smith and West. Junks keep coming, they know YP bless I'm in the jungle, nigga, every day Stocking my chest up, nigga, like they ladies Get to that paper, catching all these plays High as a bitch, keep rolling paper planes I'm in the trap, still playing 2K I was locked up, still getting three ways I don't see these haters, think I need some new friends Got a Glock 27 compact on my waist I with my genitals kicking in your dough I was 16, driving hard in the snow Hold 31 in my helico Had to walk down, had to even the score 4IG, yeah, you know we gon' slide Lonely D, yeah, I'm missing my guy these niggas be bitches, they dress in disguise Shoot for a reason, that shit ain't about pride You ain't no hustle, nigga, what you selling? I'm in the trenches, nigga, serving killer I'm in the trap, nigga, scraping extra I'm in the Tesla, nigga, smoking pressure Get the bags in and you know it came fresher Kicking work, little nigga like tacking Send his ass up like a 10 gram session Ain't ducking no beef, little nigga, we stepping My bad, y'all. Salute, salute, salute. Yeah, y'all. We back on Charleston White. It look like Charleston home. And Charleston that said some wild shit about Woody Daughter, y'all. So we're going to be reacting to this. I know, I know we tired of hearing about people talk about the kids. Let me say something about this shit that's going on in the sector real quick. About this big read and B-Way shit. Look, y'all, I'm going to say it like this. As a real, like, on some real shit, as a man, read. Mm, read. A nigga big read, bro. You said some wild shit, dog, and that shit fucked me up when I heard about that shit that came out your mouth, my nigga. Like, I don't know what really to say about that shit, bro, because I wouldn't expect no shit like that to come out big read mouth, y'all. Like, read scratch. And read a fun-ass nigga, bro. Like, 
no matter what people say about Reed jokes and all that, Reed is a funny nigga, bro. No cap. Like, when he was acting like B-Way in the car with the hoodie on, bro, that shit had me on the flow. You heard? That shit had me on the flow. <laughs> but Reed, you was wrong, dog, for saying, I mean, I know why you said what you said, because niggas trying to run with that narrative about your little one. You know what I mean? Because niggas said you ain't slide for your son. And I, and I know that narrative that motherfuckers trying to push with that. And, that. and that shit ain't right either, bro. That shit ain't right either. If it did, even if it did happen, if it didn't happen, I don't care. That shit ain't right either, bro. For for grown men to be for niggas to be talking about something that happened to them another motherfucker child, bro. Like, and that's where B way wrong at. You know what I mean? I call it spade for spade. But at the end of the day, bro, we gotta watch what you watch what we say, bro. Like, we got to keep the kids out this shit, bro. The kids is innocent, dog. Like, they don't, you know what I mean? Keep the kids out this shit. Shouldn't no grown motherfuckers be jonesing about kids in the, in the first place, y'all. I seen a whole bunch of hypocrite shit today, and that shit, Jack. Piss me off. It ain't piss me off. I ain't, I ain't, it, it didn't piss me off. Let me say that. I ain't, it just had me tripping about it, bro, because everybody claimed they real niggas, right? But ain't nobody take accountability for what the fuck they were saying out their motherfucking mouth about motherfucking kids. Like, but let's get to this content though. Shit, show that's all I had to say about that shit though. Both of them niggas was wrong. Read, you dead wrong, dog. You know what I mean? Be way you wrong too, dog. So y'all gotta call that shit down the middle. You know what I mean? For real. But let's get to the content. <laughs> Do this nigga Charleston think he a rapper now or something? What the fuck going on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The judge was mad at me. Oh, uh, yeah, come on, come get a picture. Yeah, yeah, y'all come get a picture. Yeah, yeah, the judge was mad at me. Yeah, uh, Charles, Charles, they, they Charles, Charles think he's nigga. living a rapper life, oh, y'all. This nigga crazy. <laughs> Chops to say some some wild pathetic shit too for shit show. Oh God, y'all know y'all know this nigga. Wow. 
by Charleston out there, y'all. Like I said, in the sector, we got to stop this shit with the kids, y'all. Let's stop the shit, period. Like, because y'all niggas is, that y'all motherfuckers that talk about kids is grown motherfucker, men, women, whatever. Y'all is weird, dog. Like, Real, but we go get more to that tomorrow when I give do my real commentary on that shit tomorrow, y'all. When I go live, you know what I mean. So hit the like button, subscribe to the page, man. Subscribe to the page, share the video, man. It's your boy Big Lover, man. We reacting to Charleston White. We getting to the content over here, y'all. We getting to the content. Let's go. And we, like I said, we also got Safari and Earl Camino over the bullshit they going through over the over the custody of their kids and shit. So, that's, hey, we on the content, y'all. Let's go. And salute everybody that's coming yes, through. Yeah, I've been having this you know years. what I mean? You know I ain't gonna be able to you want one, two, one. say who in the chat lives. So yeah, yeah, I heard these niggas been that's talking. Yeah, I heard these niggas been talking and talking. And, and talking. And, and talking. No, this bank money. No, this bank money. Showing out them, them bank money. Then you're a drug man if you're going to go get a Texas days, medical. Nigga. You're going to go see a Texas medical marijuana doctor. And I got a Texas medical marijuana license while I was born. Found a loophole. Who the drug man? Say, what's up, big dog? See you, man. Not too much, my nigga. Yeah, hell yeah. Not too much, my man. Say, what, what's up? What's up, devil? Oh, man, my kind of nigga picking up the kids with the baby in the back. Yeah, that's my kind of nigga, that man. He must have got his own. What's up with it? Say, check this out. I'm going to shoot home with my, my, my number, then, nigga, we'll connect later. I got to get to my daughter's school right quick. We finna hang you up though, right here. Call you Shout right out back. to the real fathers out there. No cap, <laughs> no cap. Shout out to the real pops, man. I'm a real father. Like, I mean, right, my kids' right. lives every day, nigga. Yeah, shit, no, shit. man. We gonna this bank. This how they treat you when you come to the bank, nigga. Yeah, yeah. This how they treat you when you come to the bank. <laughs> no, they, yeah. Then we get the interview money later. Yeah, yeah, we got a hundred thousand dollars there for going to jail. They want to talk to you. <laughs> Let's go, Charles. Charles, Charles TMZ, with the rat. Club Shay Shay calling. Uh, but I don't ever want to know what, what you do to them animals. Nigga ain't done a motherfucking thing to no animals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so to the animals, man. Yeah, yeah, we just need to bite with all the Charles the white with the bands. <laughs> but look, y'all. Charleston ain't start. Y'all don't realize this nigga Charleston ain't start showing no bands. To after this Woody shit. Cloud chasing that is fucking fine, y'all. But let's go. I, P. Diddy, the only nigga in jail with money that can't get out of jail. Yeah, boy, he 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 with that job. Like Diddy, the that only nigga say, in jail with money that lawyers, can't get out. It's like genius. Oh, I heard them niggas been clapping and cheering and cuckooing and ca ca. <laughs> Say I heard them nigga been turned and thought a nigga was gone forever. They thought I had P. Diddy charted. I wasn't gonna never come home. Fucking wrong. Man, nigga, ain't nobody boy. think you had. What the little bullshit child is, bro? Nobody think you had. Hey, hey, look, I had to come home before I almost do it, bro. They had me in isolation confinement. Boy, they had a nigga nuts shriveled up. Boy, them nuts were so tight. Pause, nigga, pause. My dick had shrunk so small. Pause, oh, nigga. I can't remember the last time I had a morning hard on. And nigga asshole was tight. I ain't morning. monetized. Ooh, 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 ooh. Boy, they made a nigga ass holler. Told me, told me, I'm on my man. Fuck that medical cord. What I mean, fuck it. Don't worry about it, dude. And you ain't got to worry about me in that motherfucking medical cord. No more. He said, federal. I said, yes, sir. Yes, sir, Mr. Hello, Charleston White with the bands, though. Y'all know Big Nutter ain't no hater. It won't be no more good. I promise I'd like to see niggas get money. <laughs> say, nigga, shit show. Money, it took the money. money. 
This come out the bank, nigga. This shit come out the bank, nigga. Fuck nigga, Charles did that get a rap. Look, he got Charles and all his body. Real nigga ever been down and he still had breath in his lungs. Let me pause this real quick. Charleston ain't start, ain't start flexing till after this Woody shit, y'all. I ain't never seen Charleston showing off no bands, new jewelry. Charleston looking like a goddamn real life rapper. Let's go. Nigga Larry Hoover still up, nigga. Head is wrong with you, nigga. He just been down in the hole. We talking about Larry Hoover. Nigga, please, I got if it wasn't for the feds, I'd pull out more today. Yeah, if it wasn't for the feds, nigga, I'd pull out more today. Or I'd go to my other bank and get some more money. But nigga, you gotta can't get 10000 in the limit for the day. Yeah, bitch ass nigga. I heard you whole ass nigga been churned. Ah, uh, bad guy, bro. like Betty Boo. Thought that, yeah, nah, bitch ass nigga. Like button, if it wasn't for the FBI regulations, nigga, I'd go get more money out the bank, nigga. you catch me somewhere in the motherfucker. Right, here goes some more right here. Uh, nigga, here goes some more right here. Uh, nigga, money, 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 money. Talk to him, Charlie. Bitch ass nigga, I hear you whole ass nigga been out here cheering and clapping and still broke. And by the way, bitch ass nigga, why, while I was sitting in jail, whole ass nigga, I bought another house. Bitch ass nigga. Yeah, I bought a house close to my daughter's school hey, while I was go, in jail. Hey, bitch ass uh, nigga, transferring <laughs> money on you whole ass nigga. Bro. Baby, go, you got the keys to the house, baby? Yeah, nigga, three car garage, bitch ass nigga. Why all you niggas talking and laughing? Bitch ass nigga, I got four houses. Keep talking, nigga. Yeah, yeah, don't make me go get that motherfucking Wraith. Yeah, don't make me go get that Rolls Royce on you. He ain't get no, Charleston, he ain't get no rapper money for real. This nigga Charleston funded is a bitch. Charles, look, look at Charleston, y'all, with the, with the money to his ear like a young nigga. Charleston, you know you too old for this shit, bro. Cut that shit out, dog. What's on you whole ass nigga, bitch ass nigga? Why you whole ass? You nigga still living with a bitch, ain't you, nigga? Yeah, I just bought my wife a house, nigga. Baby, go get the kind of house she want. She went and found her motherfucking three car garage house. And I, yeah, bitch ass. What, what, nigga? You in the apartment? You staying with a bitch? Your name ain't on the lease. Nigga, you better quit talking to me. <laughs> I got three leases in my name. Bitch ass nigga. You whole ass nigga can't compete with me, nigga. You whole ass nigga can't compete with me, nigga. Yeah, you whole ass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, nigga. You bitch ass nigga. Yeah. Nigga, you can't fuck with me, nigga. Yeah. We got the thing with bags in the envelope, Look, my nigga. Charles, really think he a rapper, nigga, nigga, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These high-end lawyers are like genius, my nigga. The bond already paid. Yeah, the bond already paid. These high-end lawyers is like genius, my nigga. I swear <laughs> <laughs> made six figures sitting in jail in five days, my nigga. 60,000 is locally. Say Cheese TV, Dancer Project, a real life street star, Lord his shit. Shit call. And by the way, I hear you bitch ass nigga been trying to get on the Dancer Project and he won't let you on the Dancer Project because of me. All with the jewelry, nigga. Ask KD. Hate this nigga tweaking, bro. <laughs> Receipts in the insurance for it, nigga. And I got on two hundred thousand dollars worth of jewelry, nigga. Pockets full, nigga. You bitch ass nigga just be talking and playing. Hating ass nigga. Nigga ain't no nigga fuck with me, nigga. And I'm putting money out the money. He saw that shit, man. He interviewed that what he did. That's why he popping this shit nigga. like yeah, that. You talking about let alone in jail? Much of you niggas were talking about me, and I wasn't even here. Four pockets full, nigga. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, free the real nigga. What's up with my baby? She at your school? Oh, yeah, well, I'll be right, I need her quick, nigga. I'll be right back. Yeah, I need her. I'll be right back, my nigga. Yeah, they thought they. 
That nigga went to pick his daughter up from school and went to the wrong school. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, go to my baby school right quick. Yeah, daddy home, baby. Yeah, daddy home. You bitch ass nigga don't do nothing with the kids. That other nigga wasn't the boy that got a retarded daughter. Oh, yeah, Woody on, got man. retarded, baby. Nigga, my baby ain't retarded. Nigga, my baby graduated at 16. Woody got an all. See, this the shit I'm talking about, y'all. Like, like, you gotta talk about the main daughter, bro. Like, that's some bitch shit, bro. Talk about him. That man ain't said nothing about your family, dog. Tighten up, Charleston. Autistic retarded daughter with a, with a, uh, with a, with a wooden leg. Yeah, nigga daughter this walking with a wooden leg bro. with a, with a, a uh, disabled malfunction body. Man, that nigga better shut up, nigga. Mama, dead, daughter, retarded with a malfunctioning leg. Man, tell Woody and hey, the other whole ass nigga up. hush they motherfucking mouth, nigga. My baby. And hey, Charleston, you know y'all, y'all niggas fuck around, get booked in the same venue, so you go have to see the nigga, bro. So, come on, bro. Motherfuckers gotta be mindful what the fuck they say out their mouths, dog. My baby in college is 16 years old, nigga. And he, nigga, please. He got a retarded baby. Thank God I ain't got no motherfucking nigga, that's fucked retarded up. motherfucking baby. But you retarded, that nigga. nigga. That's them retarded genes. That's them motherfucking retarded hey, genes. Nigga, that boy made a retarded little girl with a. Yeah, Woody made a retarded baby with a leg with a forest gun. He needs. Yeah, he, see, I'm starting to think all y'all motherfuckers who talk about kids and shit, y'all sick, dog. Just like this nigga. He need to buy that baby some braces. <laughs> Fuck, he you talking about a fucking child, braces. fuck, nigga, you's a, a bitch. And she violent like him. And she a violent little motherfucker. Yeah, let me step up and go that see man lets you meet his daughter yeah. and you go do this shit, yeah. bro. You's a bitch, dog. Yeah, this one, you can't dad, yeah. take everybody around your kids, dog. Yeah, I had lawyers who like genius. They thought they had a nigga. Yeah, <laughs> can't be too friendly with Ooh. these niggas, man. Hey, not, you got to push it to a limit with these bitch niggas, man. Yeah, For real. Dude. Fucked up ass people out here. Yeah, I had to fast forward it, y'all, because this nigga was doing too much bullshit. My mama's still alive. And my baby, both my baby legs work, nigga. Your baby got a malfunctioning wooden leg. This nigga you some better bullshit, shut up talking to me, nigga, with them retarded kids, nigga. I ain't got no auti autism and re mental retardation don't run in our family. This shit is I don't not funny, y'all. Uh -oh. <laughs> we got a retarded baby. Say, boy, I got a friend mama. I ain't got a dead mama. That nigga got a dead mama. Dead off in the motherfucking grave. Who did he got here talking like, about? I can't about the get out of much goddamn money I got. Much money I done made off this shit. Nigga, I had to go put on all my motherfucking jewelry. They go pull out 10000 out the bank. This you can't get. See, this the same shit that y'all do in this sector, y'all. The same exact shit. So. Y'all yeah, ain't no better than this pedophile ass nigga. Let's talk about it. Give me nine, nigga. You'll give me nine, nigga. You'll, you'll give me nine. I'll go to the other bank and get nine, nigga. Yeah, nigga, I throw two, three, four, five thousand dollars in the strip club and have phone. Nigga, the fuck is you nigga talking about? Bitch ass. I heard them nigga was cheering and clapping and happy as a motherfucker. They thought Uncle Charlie was out of it. <laughs> nigga, nigga, P Charlie. did it the only nigga with money that can't get out the clean. keep saying that shit. Nigga, nigga. Now, to see what it was, Charleston saw that J-Man interview with Woody, and them nigga, that nigga Woody was going in on Charleston, but he ain't talk about the nigga kids, the nigga family. He kept it on Charleston. 
You know what I mean? Charleston supposed to be the older nigga. And he moving petty as fuck. Nothing that bad. Nigga just done something he shouldn't have done. Found the loophole. Nigga made some folks mad with a loophole. Okay, you think you're smart, nigga? We'll teach you. Hold on. Clown shit, y'all. Clown shit. Yeah, I had to fast forward to some of y'all, so give me a second. Motherfucker. Happy than a motherfucker. I'll take the love with the hate, but nigga, I prefer the hate. Nigga. Yeah, yeah, I prefer the hate. The All right, hate if you take the love with the hate. Love is the inspiration. Oh, so nigga, why you got to talk like so demonic so about people's kids, bro? What's up, man? What's up, man? What's up, man? What's up, man? Yeah, y'all, tomorrow. Look, y'all, tomorrow we go get. I'm gonna get big commentary on what the fuck going on about this shit for real. So make sure them notification bells on. I said, shout out to, all right, y'all, look, let me pause this. We got goddamn cuckoo ass Earl Camino and Safari, y'all. I don't know what the fuck going on with Earl Camino, but she been in the blogs. Looking crazy. Her shape fucked up now. What the fuck going on with her? Ah, damn. Hey, share, share the video, y'all. Like the video. Subscribe if you knew, man. We in here. I don't even. I don't even know where to start. Um, but I'm. I'm putting everything out there because <laughs> my niggas. St the fact that st stuck, bro. People, even whether you know me or not, you still. There still has to be like a certain. You know, everybody say Safari fucked up, nigga. You know what I mean? But when after I watched this, started to think a little different about Safari, man. No cap. Even though Safari little soft nigga. But that nigga bought his kids though. I give him that. That's real man shit. For real. To be like a certain level of, of common sense when it comes to just being a judge of character. And this has nothing to do with T V at all and this nigga just started yeah, being a dad so because this shit like new to him you know what i mean and this deadbeat narrative it's like it's just it's just so jarring to me it it does give me a headache sometimes but then you know um Earl I'm pretty good be just, down Brushing things off. Tell everybody to Safari dead be you know, him do for the kids and all that crazy shit. Wait to, <clears throat> let's listen to the situation, like, y'all. How long are you gonna stay quiet? And I just, you know, I be I be sparing people. And then at the same time it's like, yo, it's nobody's business, but I feel like everybody just feels like they know my business and if it's reported, it's news, and that is the truth, and it's real. But I'm I'm pretty sure that you know there's some men out there who can relate to this. And um, when it comes to being a, a father in a co-parenting situation, where somebody wants to have full control of every single thing. 
and they can't have mm. control, it it's just it's Eric Amina narcissist, y'all. It's just not gonna be a an easy transition. You know they say narcissists, you know, the motherfuckers uh, is controlled. The um, other person is just used to it being one way or very controlling or still wanting to see the, the L way or the high way. It's not there anymore. But I love my kids. And I'm gonna tell you about a narcissist. To the point that if, if the motherfuckers can't have their way, it's the end of the world. The end of the world, y'all. Like they be feeling like everybody against them. On um, what the fuck, especially if it's some dumb shit. But let's get to it. I I have to put myself first because I'm either gonna end up in jail. You gonna end up locked up. Or worse. Look at this shit. I'm dealing with someone who is just who's a lunatic. Anger management is just non-existent. When I first moved to your Florida, ex-wife a lunatic dog. I remember, I, I got a two-bedroom condo, and the first time I had my kids come over there after my divorce, and I started the whole okay visitation beating, having my kids for the days I was having them when. My kids first came over in my condo. It made me so depressed because I was like, yo, they just, I felt like they were so confined and I didn't feel good about it. And I see Safari, so he got that condo cause he felt like he was a bachelor now. He was back single. You know what I mean? And you know in them condos, you ain't got no yard or nothing for no kids and shit. I said, yo, I got to get a house. I need a house. I can't have my kids running around in this condo and, that, and, and, and hurting themselves and just... It. And I salute him for that, though. Getting a house and shit because he ain't just thinking about himself. He thinking about his kids now, too. You know what I mean? It takes steps, y'all. Just it just not being a, a fit to raise, you know, two children in a co-parenting setup. And I found my house. And I'm gonna just I'm gonna be all the way blunt and straight up with it. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I, I got this house because of my kids. I got this house for my kids. Salute my to you for that, Savan. It's the best feeling, you know. You know, when you have children with somebody who at the end of the day, it, it shouldn't even have happened because I should have just noticed certain things when it came to parenting. You know, when you, you're with someone for three years and they have a child and you probably saw the child three to four times because the child was put off to go live with somebody else and you know, you don't, you kind of look past it when you don't have kids or you're not thinking about that. I never even like was like, yo, why doesn't your son live here? See? And then now he understands. You finally get to have a conversation with the son and find out why. It's, it's crazy. You know, imagine speaking to a child who's of age and knows what's going on. He's 16 years old. And he says, if I ever had to live with my mother, I would kill myself. Damn. Oh, he talk about Earl Kamina, oldest son. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't make that up, you know. And it's, it, it, it sucks that I got to, like, really just run this down because of this smear campaign and somebody who gets such a high on just talking about me and picking and choosing what kids you want to, you know, have on the forefront and 
Uh, she even drove the kid. The oldest son don't even want to stay with her. I kind of just looked past certain things and thought that, you know, maybe I could help and make things better. But when you aren't with somebody and it doesn't work out and the two of you are just like in a weird space and everything is a fight. Look at her, y'all. That bitch crazy. Especially in front of the kids. Like, I'm not going to subject yeah, myself to Yeah, you can't be that. acting like that in front My of the kids. My kids have never, ever seen me upset. My kids have never heard me yell. You me. You're texting me. A commitment to She said, Fuck all of y'all. That's just not in me. But, you know, on the other hand, the other side, they don't operate or think the way I do. And when when I have my kids and someone is pretty much trying to police and parent and like watch every single thing I'm doing and call, oh, who's there? Well, what's going on? It's just so unhealthy, so excessive. To the point where it just creates a lot of issues. Facts. Like, you can't pick and choose when it's okay to say, okay, the kids are good. And then if we're not, you know, in a good space, then it's a, it's a it's an issue. You know, I've taken my kids to Jamaica. If I was such a bad parent, n nobody's going to let a man take the kids to Jamaica Facts. by myself. I didn't have no help. And I want a biscuit for it. I if it's, if it's. If it ain't nothing that she comfortable with, it's a problem. If y'all beefing and you trying to get the kids, it's going to be hell trying to get your kids, dog. That's that's how some females just act in a way, though. You know what I mean? If y'all beefing and you trying to get them kids, it's not happening, dog. It will go through hell. That's why some niggas just... Do the custody battle shit. Some females volunteer to do the custody battle shit because some niggas don't even be trying to get their kids. Let's get back to the content, though. You know, it just it just creates hit the like button such a level of toxicity that. It's better to just be like, you know what? I'm going to deal with this through the courts. And when this thing gets sorted out, how it's supposed to be That's the best be way to out, do it. Then, okay, we'll figure it out. So for the past, you know, few months, that's what I've been dealing with when it came to, you know, looking for lawyers and just trying to figure out this whole thing. Because my original standing order for this child support and the visitation and all of that, everything, it originated from Georgia. We moved to Florida. When we moved to Florida, everything has to get transferred over. It just got transferred over like this week. So now I get to find out what this new setup is going to be because I refuse to go to her house. To pick That's a shame, kids. dog. I refuse. I'm not. She, it's just too, That's unstable, a shame, too dog. unpredictable. And That's a shame if a nigga... Don't want to come to your house to get his kids. Sometimes you got to put the grandmas in the middle of that. You know what I mean? Sometimes you got to get the kids through the grandmas. You know what I mean? He don't want to see her, y'all. That's all that is. He don't want to see her. She be whooping his ass. And the only way I would do it is either a police precinct or if the kids are somewhere else. You know, else, fire, you know, fire, 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 in a way. But everything is just done off of spite and being malicious intent. But she trashing that nigga's shit. I don't move like that. I don't live like that. You know, when people look at me, I don't look like I'm carrying stress. I don't look like I'm losing weight. I don't look like 
Like I'm just harboring so much hate inside me that it physically begins to show. And I'm a father. My bad, y'all. I'm going mute real quick. When I have my kids in there with me, they're under my care. They don't have nothing to worry about. So I'm not going to have anybody acting like they need to. Eric, I mean to worry about Safari having the kids around bitches. That's what the fuck that is. Like, they need to know every single thing going on. When I was filming Love and Hip Hop, Miami, and I had my kids here calling, oh, where, where are the kids at? What are they doing? Oh, you better not be filming with the kids. Oh. First of all, I've, I've never filmed with the kids ever by myself for Love and Hip Hop. They're not a part of my storyline. That doesn't make sense to me. Then I'm not gonna be in the park pushing the kids, playing. Oh yeah, oh, like of course they wanted to see me film with them, but you know, both parents have to sign off on that, and you know. Yeah, she but, most definitely ain't going for that. And um, you know the last, the last instant of when we had a transfer with the kids, it was. She called me and said, hey, I'm in the area. I could save you a trip. I could come pick the kids up. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm tired and I don't want to do the drive. And it was like really like early in the morning or whatever. So I'm like, all right, cool. I let her in, lay down in the kids' room. One of the kids is in there. Next to the kids is laying with me in my room. And when she gets up, she's like, she wants to have a conversation with me. I'm like, okay, let's talk. As soon as she starts talking, it's yelling, screaming, all of that. I said, yo, look, I'm not doing that. And if you can't talk to me normally in front of the kids, where the kids don't realize that we're having a discussion about something that, that we're not agreeing on, then I'm not having it. Oh, I don't give a half, blah, 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 all this yelling, whatever. So I'm like, okay, forget it. Just, you know, you here, pick them up. You That shit is never. Let me tell y'all. I mean, we, we all grown. I know everybody that be in my chat, we grown. Most of us got kids. Some, some don't. You know what I mean? But everybody know as a grown motherfucker, that shit ain't healthy to be arguing in front of them kids, bro. Because you know kids soak up shit like sponges. So when they see what the fuck they parents do? They go think it's cool for them to do it. Or say, for instance, you got a a female got an abusive ass father. Like he be beating the mom up and all that. She go think it's cool. It's all right for her nigga to beat on her. You get what I'm saying? Vice versa. The same. Go think it's cool to beat on a woman. You get what I'm saying? Or you could traumatize the kids too. Cause that shit, the end some when you give out like evil energy, that shit scare kids. You yelling, running around the house throwing shit, breaking shit, that shit scared them too. You know what I mean? So we got to be mindful of what the fuck we do by our kids and what we say by our kids. You get what I'm saying, y'all? Because I know everybody ain't perfect with their kids. I know some people cuss by their kids. Some people even smoke around their kids. And I, look, do what you do. Raise your kids how you want to raise them, dog. You know what I mean? So don't be surprised. When they start doing the shit you do. Let's get back to the content, man. Back to the motherfucking content. Come on, bro. Tighten up. My bad, y'all. I'm cussing the dog out and everything, man. Back to the content. Let's go. And... In my face, all of that, blah, 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 and all that. So I'm like, all right, you don't want to leave. I call the cops. I'm on the phone with the cops. I'm telling them, hey, you know, before this escalates, Nigga said I would the like cop police, police see, look. because I want her to leave. Filming me calling the cops. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do, dog. I ain't even mad at you for calling the police on, you, 
on her because she in there fucking your shit up, dog. I don't, hey, I don't, sometimes you, hey, if it was you, they'll do it to you. They'll call the police on you. Even if you yell at a female, bro, they call the police on your ass. Know what I mean? So, yeah, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. And sometimes that should have helped you in the long run in the custody battle. You got police reports and shit that bitch at the house crashing your house in front of the kids. Then you got videos too. Oh, yeah, you up, dog. You up. Calling the cops. Okay, I'm calling the cops in front of me. You're the one with the anger management problem just going off. So rake stuff up in the house, has the kids running over glass, breaking stuff up outside. Look, trash that nigga shit. Trash that nigga shit, y'all. After that, Damn. I just was like, you know what? If I can't pick up my kids in a place that is like a drop-off point or a police precinct, I'm not picking them up because I'm not going to feel safe ever again in life. My daughter, she has an iPad. I'm blocked on the iPad. My daughter's Damn, you're not blocked the man from... Come on, bro. Text. Um, Damn. Damn. Just, just like BS like that. So I'm like, okay. Um... The next time I got my... I was one of my baby... Boy, I was one of my baby mamas would do that shit. Niggas, if a nigga want to contact his kids, he should be able to contact his motherfucking kids, bro. You just you just want the nigga to go through you, Erica. That's what the fuck you want. You want that man to go through you. You want to be all toxic, want to argue with the nigga and shit about his kids? Like, come on, bro. Let's go Safari. Oh, hey, look. I don't really rock with Safari. But, hey, the man trying to be a dad, dog. I salute him for that. Let's go. Time I got my kids after that. Oh, no, prior. Before that, when um I went and I was going to get a restraining order. Because, you know, she's doing stuff like showing up in my crib. Five o'clock in the morning, pulling out a ladder, hopping the fence. Oh my god, what is that? Oh my god, what is that? Look at this bitch, y'all. This bitch took a ladder to hop the gate. Got over that bitch. What? What? With no problem. <laughs> Let's go. Bitch, crazy. Yeah, I would have called them people on their ass too. No. Windows. Look. My son's birthday party was like a month after that. No, like it was a while after that. And then when I went to the party, they said, hey, you want a restraining order, but um, you went to a party. She was there, so you, you must not be in that much fear. So I had to drop that case. And this is me having to have two different lawyers. So he so had to drop the restraining order. Like, one lawyer order. for that and another lawyer for this whole be around his son thing. for his birthday. And next time I got there, you gotta it was do what you for, do, you know, beginning of the summer. And I was like, yo. I'll keep the kids for the summer. Let me know. My mother and my sister's here. They love being around them. They want to be around them. How many niggas doing that? Doing shit like that? And getting their kids for the whole summer? How many niggas offering up shit like that? That's the issue. I can't reach my daughter's iPad. Pickup situation isn't sorted out. So, you can't when see I him. finally do get them, oh, okay, he get them. I sign them up for summer camp. She gets so mad at me for signing them up for summer camp. There's a summer camp by my house. She lives 40 minutes away from me. Summer camp. I'm like, cool, I got them. Let me at least. I'm going to tell you why she got bad because when you signed them up for summer camp, my dog, did you talk to her about that? Did you tell her you was going to do that? I know sometimes a nigga feel like, I'm my kids too, I should be able to do what I want to do. But did you tell her you was going to do that? Because if the kids living with her, 
Or if you getting them for the summer and you sign them up for summer camp, hey, that you doing you, dog. Hey, that 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 would you know what I mean? But she probably feel like I'm gonna tell you how this bitch Erica thinking. You trying to do the summer camp thing so you can go out and do the fuck you want to do so far. That's how she thinking. You know what I mean? That's how she probably thinking. Or some, or she just want to bitch about some shit. I don't know, y'all. But I'm, I'm just trying to think of how she thinking. Like, you know what I mean? Because, you know, they were here. My mother's like, yo, you can't just be having them here playing, whatever, whatever. She was like, they need some, you know, structure. Some Sign activities. Them up for summer camp. I was okay. like, you know what? That's a good idea. I signed them up for the summer camp. I paid for it. I paid $2,000 to put them in summer camp. They went to summer camp for three days. Damn. Because she had such an issue with me putting them in summer camp by my house. And was like, why did I talk to her? Blah, blah, blah. And it's like, okay, I have the kids. They're under my watch and care. I want to put them in a summer camp by me. And I'm going to show y'all because it's like, I'm not just talking just to talk, but put them in summer camp. This was the first month. This is what it was supposed to do. This is what it's supposed to be. This is the schedule. Summer camp, July, boom, boom, boom. The entire month. This was going to be their schedule for the entire month. Okay. This is their lunch schedule. This is one of the things she made for me in one of the days that she was in summer camp. So I'm like, okay, what's wrong with putting the kids in summer camp? And... It just was such a control thing, and it created like, like it created so much drama. Oh, drop the kids off. Oh, you put them in summer camp. Uh, just nothing made absolute any sense. Nothing. Like it was just such an irate, ignorant conversation. Cause it's at a point where we don't even speak direct. Pause. But I don't think I can say about the summer camp shit so far. If you ain't tell her. Before you did it, or if y'all ain't come to no type of agreement about that shit, you shouldn't ever did that. I know you're trying to get it, you know what I mean, during the day, have some type of activities, you know what I mean, shit to learn, instead of just being in the house or on, on, on technology shit, you want to do the, the um, outdoor adventure shit. I get what you was doing. But if you ain't talk to her about that shit, dog, you knew that was going to be a problem, my nigga. Like, my house is set up for them. This, I got their shrine set up. This is for them. This is their area. They, 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 you walk That's in. That's nice, too. This is my G's room. Okay, the, the, the ain't no, daughter room. Ain't no okay. deadbeat doing this. Deadbeats ain't Hell, doing nothing this. Ain't no dead my daughter, on, on my daughter room was time. bigger than, than some adults room. I know some deadbeat and dads, bro. It's just bro. so insane to me how people just it, I, like personally. I know some deadbeat dads. Like, and talk like I ain't gonna say who they is or none of that shit. Like, but y'all niggas that's out there know who y'all is. That's deadbeat. I got a couple homeboys. No cap, they dead. They dead be dads. You know what I mean? They get mad at me every time I talk to them about kids and shit. But it ain't my fault. They could you ain't doing the fuck of your kids. You know what I mean? Get on your shit. I tell them all the time. Get on your shit and do the fuck you supposed to be doing for your motherfucking kids. You ain't got to worry about feeling bad about when somebody else talking about their kids, dog. You know what I mean? Because when, when you do for your kids, when you take care, when you're a nigga that take care of your kids and you do the fuck you supposed to do for your kids, that shit hit different, dog. That shit hit different. Like, you really accomplish, you are, you accomplishing your shit, like, you know what I mean? And little boys, 
especially these girls, need their fathers in their lives, dog. For real. Just to know, even just to know their father. They need them in their fucking lives, dog. So that's why I tell my niggas all the time, nigga, take care of them little motherfuckers, bro. Take care of them kids, dog. People just, oh, yeah, you're a deadbeat. Yo, I know about real deadbeats. And this situation is all about control. This woman text a naked picture of me to my mother and my sister because she wanted to let them know that oh you you and your, your son I'm that's fucked up why would you text a naked picture of this nigga to his mama and his sister bro yeah erica man you 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 toxic dog you toxic your, your son, I'm pretty sure your son's not telling you what's really going on between us and all of this other nonsense. What the fuck? That shit okay? crazy. That bitch we crazy, you are y'all. Still, you know, having a relationship, and that's over with. Thank God, that's over with. Like you know, so I, he I was prayed about that, and, and, and there's absolutely nothing. He was still hitting her. Of course, prior to the mom, the mom and sister. They ain't fucking with each other no more, but he he probably yeah, he still hitting her on the side, whatever. He still that's his baby mama, he's still hitting her. Whatever. So she mad now that he on what he on, you get what I'm saying? And she wanna expose the nigga to to his sister and his mom to show that they still fucking dog. Physical going on anymore. And you take, and that's why niggas be slipping up there too. Still be fucking them bitches, and don't and don't think don't and don't think feelings behind that shit. That shit curse shit, dog. You taking naked pictures and sending it to my mother and my sister to do what and prove what? My mother and my sister are the most. Well, you still fucking her, dog. You making her feel like it's still a chance. Get what I'm saying? These problematic people on earth. My mother's and not you one of those fucking. mothers. She's not like a TV mother who's here acting rah rah and doing a bunch of ignorant nonsense. Like, my mother is so calm and zen. And anyone who knows my mother and my sister and what they do, like, my sister and my mom, they are in the holistic field. They're very, everything about them is zen, herbs, teas, spiritual. And you're sending naked pictures of me to my mother and my sister. Yeah, bro, that's, Erica, I mean, you wrong, and bro. It's like, that's the type of nonsense I have to deal with. I cannot ever pick up my kids in peace. Everything is just long and drawn out. And it's just so unfair. That's why niggas shouldn't be doing dudes and shit anyway, cuz, bro. Then y'all niggas get mad when y'all get exposed. You know what I mean? Stop doing that shit. That when a woman says something, no matter what, it's like, oh, it's the man's fault. Don't even People let her like, but the you, you, you didn't know. And I'm kind of like, you know what? Well, I, I thought I could make somebody not be just like as angry. But then when things just started like going sour and not working out, it just became just, it's just not even realistic to deal with. I saw somebody say one time and I totally felt it. And if you're a father, I know you could, you could relate to this. And it's like, they're like, yo, when you're dealing with a woman who makes you being a parent, just, they just make it so hard. It's yeah. so draining dealing with someone who's yeah, trying that's to draw you, the you the fuck out, out. Someone who wants a reaction from you. Someone who talks about It's the energy, dog. It's the energy, dog. That shit is draining. When the motherfucker talk shit about you to everybody. Talk shit about you to you. Sometimes you just be calling and talk to the kids and whatever. And that shit become about y'all. And that shit become a whole argument. You get what I'm saying? That shit is draining. For shit show. Non-stop. Because they want a reaction. Uh, 
That's all. I, I, I don't. I'm not one of those people. I don't. Attention. I don't care about people liking me and caring and and, and proving my point. Like, hey guys, look, I feel too. Um, no cap. No, this isn't true. This is what's really happening. I've yo people who know me. My mouth has been quiet for years. Years, I don't say nothing. It, this it's just so draining. Like everything about it. Like this her, is her first whole, time speaking of family up is, too, is going after her for child support. Look, er, Erica, me and I had everybody thinking that Safari was fucked up, nigga, bro. Uh, everybody was thinking Safari just wanted to go party, fuck bitches, and you know what I mean. Eric Mina had everybody thinking that, and the whole time this man trying to be, be there f with his kids. You know what I mean? He a fresh new dad, like, and he trying to have that bun with his kids, bro. And she fucked up, and cause she won't let this nigga have. That's what he need. You know what I mean? Bitch, you like a nigga doing that shit because this niggas out here ain't doing that shit, bro. Not getting their kids at all. Don't even call and check on their kids. Don't call and check if the kids need anything. Some of these niggas be up live all motherfucking day. Don't, I, I already, come on, dog. Let's go. Back to the content. Don't give me the goddamn jibber jabbing in this bitch. I ain't trying to be on this job that long. Let's go, babe. Support. Because she doesn't do anything to help her son. So then to try to make it seem like I'm some deadbeat and I'm not trying to be there for my kids, I would love to be there for my kids. But it would be nice for you to get out the way. Let me be a father. Let me take my kids and go wherever I want with them. My kids are never in danger. They don't ever have to worry about nothing. This is you not should about money. It's not about that, my nigga. My kids. Love me. Shout out to Safari, man. <laughs> Come on, bro. Real G shit. Then the shit I want to go on, y'all. She's snapping back that bitch. I just want to say, like, you know, doing shit like this, this don't benefit me. This don't help me. Like, I don't like this kind of You got to defend your name, though, That's dog. why I usually never say anything, but this thing is... He, he, he had to defend his name, though, because for the past, what, two, three years? Motherfuckers been dragging Safari, bro. For real. Motherfuckers been dragging so far. But the and now look how look calm up, bitch, bro. Look how shit turned around on you, bro. Now everybody see Erica mean the crazy as a motherfucker. Rich dollars was right, bro. <laughs> I didn't say anything, but this thing has been going on for so long. Rich dollars like, bitch said that bitch was cuckoo. How much longer am I gonna let <laughs> bitch side? You know, it's, 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 it's so much, it's just so much things to list and name. Oh, like, God. I would have to sit there with a, a oh, pen and pad and write down every single incident and all that. But I don't, this is, I, I'm doing this one and one time only. Like, but it's just, it's just a lot of corny shit. All the fake Instagram pages. Harassing my mother, harassing my sister. Hey, justice for so far, to girl. Man. All of a sudden, Hashtag the girl starts justice for so far. the same fake Instagram names, and it's like, yo, it it, 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 it takes so the nigga and everything. much energy to to like be like that, and I don't have that type of energy. I, even doing this right now is giving me such. Headache. Talking about it getting this nigga headache. Headache. Get headaches. My head is pounding right now. Just talking Talk about, about it, this, but you know, a, a good blunt of At the end of the day, go I'm right like, away. you know, God yeah. is gonna do what God is gonna do, and that's gonna be Facts. that. Like this ain't no, it's not a storyline. 
I'm not on love and hip hop. This is my real life right now. I'm 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 really I'm tired. Shout out you know, to um, Safari, man. That goes I, I, like, I comment, subscribe to Safari say, YouTube like, page. When you go through things in life, nothing stays the same, nothing lasts forever. And that's like, kind of how I'm you know, like, this motherfucker. You know, even with as long as I've, you know, not seen my kids. Because, you know, whether it's right or wrong, I'm just standing on, yo, I'm not you stand going on to your house to pick up the kids. For I don't, the kids. Precinct or somebody from your family's house that, that got, uh, I don't have no issue with going over, going that's over what you there, gotta do. and that's that. But like, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going, I'm not putting myself in any position to man and trying to go to jail. Snap, lose my like. Come on, because there's people who be in situations Nigga, like ain't trying this. To go to jail, not fuck with no to, Earl like, man, cool. The shit is draining. When you get to a certain age in life, like yo, drama and just all of this corny nonsense and fighting and. And arguing on the internet, Pop putting your shit, personal Safari. business on the internet, on social media, to people who don't like, yo, I don't want no one to feel sorry for me. I don't need sympathy. I don't need pity. I don't care about none of that from nobody. I know at the end of the day what's going on, and that's that. I'm just dealing with someone who doesn't deal with logic. They deal with their way or no way and if it's not their way you're gonna you're gonna get harassed and i don't got time i don't got time yo i don't care what nobody's doing i'm not harassing you you dming girls that i was talking to and and and, and damn she, she hated like, like that. that was corny yo she ain't like that down dog i gotta <laughs> Just for Safari, man, no cap. <laughs> I did that once. I did that once. And when I did it, I didn't send pictures and videos and say, yo, look, this is what's happening. I just was like, yo, I want to talk to you because I like on some, hey, look, if this is who you deal with, I just want to let you know that this is what's happening. And if y'all are dealing, then leave me alone. You know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna tell you, if you did that first, so far, if you was if you was the first nigga to jump in a nigga DM that she was fucking with and was warning that nigga, of course she go jump in every hey, bitch you fucking with DM and do that shit. I mean you gotta stay the fuck out that shit, dog. Stay the fuck out of it. Look. Me, me and the nigga I know, man, this nigga got the same baby, bro. I see this nigga at the club one day, bro. This nigga talk about something, man. Why you tell me that bitch was crazy? Nigga, that ain't my motherfucking job, nigga. Why the fuck you think I want fucking with the bitch? That's your fault, dog. That's, I mean, that ain't my business to tell. I'm not, I'm not go, go to none of no nigga that none of my exes or baby mamas talk to DMs or warn them niggas about them bitches or none of that because that ain't my motherfucking business. So, Safari, you should have kept it clear and stayed out that, my dog. No cow on phone them. This ain't really about that. I'm just trying to have my, my time and my setup with my kids. I, my mother and my sister would love for me to bring them to New York and, and spend some time with them there. And it's just nothing, nothing is easy. Everything is a fight. And I don't and fight, I, I don't argue, I'm not, I don't, I don't, I'm not, I don't no, I'm, I'm not doing it. So when all this core stuff is said and done, it is what it is. This is, it's, this is not about child support. Sometimes so this thing you is about, it's not about money. It's, it's, it's way bigger than that. It's about sometimes you gotta do that shit. Be a father, I mean, stay out the way, kids. 
And that's it. Stop that's trying to act like you don't that's care that's when you do care. Stop harassing my mother. Stop that's harassing that's my that's sister. That's Stop that's harassing that's anyone that's close to me. And this is not to the back. This is just the truth. This is just what it is. For real. So that narrative that everyone just thinks is so cool to run. Like, you, you, you use common sense. If Shout I out to see the my kids, man. there is oh, a God. reason. Shout out to and the real G. The reason. Oh, You're God, going to dog. see it. You're going to see it. Shout out to y'all, man. Shout out to the real ones, man. I'm a real dad. Let me tell you something, man. That ain't easy to be, bro. That ain't easy to be. You care about people that you know ain't going to care about you back. You go out loud for people that that's, that's what being real is, man. That's what being real is. Sometimes you got to take it on the chin as a real man. Sometimes you do stuff that you don't want to do. You got to swallow your pride to be real. It ain't always easy being real. You care everybody else's burden. Niggas want to scream, I'm real this, I'm real that, until it's time to be that. That's why you don't see too many real niggas. Everybody can't be real. Everybody can't be a real man. Everybody can't be solid. Because it takes a lot. It takes a lot caring about people that you know don't care about you like that. That ain't going to be the same way you are. That ain't going to put forth the same effort. But day in and day out to continue to do it. Not for them. For you. For you. Because that's who you are. That's who you are. So everybody with all that, I'm real. I'm, nigga, you ain't ready to be real, nigga. You ain't ready to stand on certain principles, nigga. That's why y'all niggas fold under pressure. It ain't too many of us out here, nigga. We rare for real, nigga. Facts. Facts. Like, shout out to the real ones. Because we, we rare. And I stand on that. It ain't too many of us out there, bro. So, like, like that nigga said, bro. You look out for motherfuckers who don't even give a fuck about you. I done did that plenty of time in my life. I done learned my lesson. No. I ain't going through that no more, dog. Like, for real. Tighten up, bro. Like, for real. Tighten up. My bad, y'all talking to the dog. You know, us dog people, we talk We talk to our dogs like they are kids. So, <laughs> shop. <laughs> Tied up, Chico. But look, y'all. Shout out to the real ones. And let's watch this crazy narcissistic ego mm, cuckoo maniac Earl Camino, y'all. Let's watch her. Let's see what she do. Look at her, y'all. This bitch. Hop in the main gate, y'all. I don't think he was answering the phone for her. Hop the main gate. With no problem. Over that bitch. She she might ain't even call that nigga. She probably just popped up. Look, banging on the, look. Safari. Open the door, you bitch ass nigga. Look at her. She on bullshit. On oh, straight bullshit. The man is supposed to be. This his time with his kids. Look. Oh no, nah, this is a different video. She got a different outfit on. Look, pushing the nigga. In front of the kids, y'all. The kids standing right there. And she acting like that in front of the kids. And he just trying to walk away. She getting mad because he calling. The, she trying to take the phone. She getting mad because he calling the police. Let's go. Look, she like you bitch ass nigga. You calling the police. You supposed to be a, a real nigga. <laughs> You supposed to be a real nigga. Real niggas don't call the police. <laughs> Fuck you, nigga. Call the punk ass police then. I'm off this bitch. Breaking everything. Breaking everything. Earl Camino, you, you look, got the come on, bro. The kids, bro. The 
kids, bro. Right in front of the kids, y'all. And that was it for Sapphire and Erica Mina. Hey, put in the comment section, man. What y'all think about that, man? Do Sapphire? I think Sapphire got a chance. You know what I mean? Justice for Sapphire, man. Justice for Sapphire. Let that man see his kids, dog. That man shouldn't have to come to the internet about his motherfucking kids. Because you've been running this nigga name for the past, what, two, three years? Dragging this nigga name through the mud here. Everybody thinking Safari was a fuck, was on some fuck nigga shit about his kids. Like he was a real life deadbeat. And that man won't even own it. That man won't even own that, y'all. Like I said, man, shout out to the real pops out there. The real dads. The real fathers. For real. The real G's. Them real niggas. Them real men. For real. But look, y'all, salute angle. Be too long on this, you know what I mean? So, like I said, y'all, hit that like button. Subscribe to the page, man. Subscribe if you're new. Share the content. Share the content. Like I said, we'll be back live tomorrow. We got three women in the pool tomorrow. They eating each other out in the pool. Motherfuckers walking past, taking videos of them. In the public pool. Kids and shit. Motherfucker sick, man. But we gonna be watch we gonna be on that tomorrow. You know what I mean? We then we got a, a crazy squatter. You know what I mean? We gonna be on that tomorrow. And if y'all for real, hit the like button, man. Hit the like button, cause you know I'm gonna bring I'm gonna bring y'all some content. And I'm gonna get more commentary. About the shit that's going on in the sector. About the B-Way and Big Reed shit. Like, like I said, that shit, that shit disgusting. That shit was wrong, what Big Reed said, y'all. Nah, I mean, and it go both ways. That shit was wrong, what B-Way was talking about, too, because... Everybody act like they don't know what bro was talking about when he said you don't slide for your son. Everybody know what was that about. So, like I said, bro, I ain't taking no sides on that shit. I ain't taking no bad sides on that shit. I'm just saying both of them, both of them niggas was wrong for that shit. So. And both of them niggas owe each other an apology. Get this shit right. You know what I mean? Because both of them niggas, they funny niggas, bro. Both of them niggas. Funny as fuck. They can do this YouTube shit. Like, give good dialogue with some jokes. You know what I mean? Roasting niggas. Like, Big Reed, you can... Sh you you a better scratcher than that, my nigga. So I ain't expect that from you, dog. I ain't I ain't gonna lie. I ain't expect that from you. Like you a funny ass nigga, dog. But it is what it is, bro. You said what you said. You know what I mean? And I, motherfuckers can't hold that shit against you. Can and hold that shit against you. To, uh, Cause it is fuck sh fuck shit you said and creepy pedal bullshit. You know what I mean. So, but can't nobody hold you down. This the internet, dog. So, y'all boys get that shit together, man. For real, y'all get that shit together. Like I always say, keep the kids, keep the dead. And keep people family that's not on this bitch off this bitch, bro. Can we do that? Let's just roast each other. 
keep this shit with us. Our people ain't got shit to do with this shit. But we gonna get on that tomorrow, though. When I get my little commentary on that tomorrow, y'all. So, like I said, hit the like button, subscribe to the page, man. It's your boy, Big Nutter, man. Where we in Nutterville, where we kick it, chill, and build a whole vibe. We'll be back up live tomorrow, y'all. And I appreciate everybody that's gonna be coming through watching this upload. I catch y'all tomorrow. Peace. Profile on the beat, so we get it made. Why, uh? You ain't no hustle, nigga, what you selling? I'm in the trenches, nigga, serving killer. I'm in the trap, nigga, scraping extra. I'm in the Tesla, nigga, smoking pressure. Getting bags in and you know it came fresher. Kicking work, little nigga like tacking. Send his ass up like a 10 gram session. Ain't ducking no beef, little nigga, we step. Ain't ducking no smoke, nigga, we in hell. I just serve teachers, preachers, reverence. Steady pushing gas, little nigga, like a pedal. Popping up a perk, pull a line to the yellow. How does your brother but that nigga tell him? I see my victim, nigga, I'm a catch. 31 shots at it, all the Smith and West. Junks keep coming, they know why P bless I'm in the jungle, nigga, every day Stacking my chest up, nigga, like they lays Get to that paper, catching all these plays High as a bitch, keep rolling paper planes I'm in the trap, still playing 2K I was locked up, still getting three ways I don't see these haters, think I need some new frames Got a Glock 27 compact on my waist I'm with my genitals kicking in your dough I was 16, trapping hard in the snow Hold 31 in my helicoat Had to walk down, had to even the score 4IG, yeah, you know we gon' slide Lonely D, yeah, I'm missing my guy these niggas be bitches, they dress in disguise Shoot for a reason, that shit ain't about pride You ain't no hustle, nigga, what you selling? I'm in the trenches, nigga, serving killer I'm in the trap, nigga, scraping extra I'm in the Tesla, nigga, smoking pressure Getting bags in and you know it came fresher Kicking work, little nigga like tacking Send his ass up like a 10 gram session Ain't ducking no beef, little nigga, we stepping
Ah, yeah, catch on, my shit show.